So this video isn't going to go too deep into what actually went wrong with XRMD anime. If you guys want a balls deep dive into what actually went wrong, I highly recommend you check out the Canapa's effects coverage on this matter. This video will be focusing on the individual dots of both the staff and the seiyus involved in this shitstorm. Now before we go full social media stalker mode, let me give you guys a top level overview of this anime, where it has a lower score than my high school GPA. So back in July 2020 at Anime Expo Lite, Crunchyroll rolled out their original series, and X-Arm was a part of that batch. But when they announced the full lineup of X-Arm staff, this raised a lot of eyebrows. Reason being, none of these people ever worked on an anime. From the director Yoshikatsu Kimura only having experience directing live action television, to the animation studio itself, Visual Flight, only having experience on doing modeling work for video games. This lineup is like grabbing the whole staff of The Simpsons and telling them, hey, go create a Christopher Nolan movie. It's a disaster waiting to happen. And homeboy director Yoshikatsu had the audacity to say that he's going to redefine the 3D anime space with motion capture technology and he stated that fans could look forward to action scenes that has never been seen before in the anime medium. Well good sir, we'll see about that. Revy rolled the footage. What in the 599 clearance section ventriloquist doll 2005 flash player new grounds animation is going on here? The characters look like they're hooked on crack. You had half the characters in 2D animation and the rest in 3D. And the whole fight sequence looks like a YouTube video of Lego stop motion. Now with all of that said, how is the staff and seiyus reacting to their participation in this 10 out of 10 show? Let's try to dig up their social medias. But before we dive into the main cast, I had to make a quick pit stop to one of the supporting cast members, Yui Ishikawa, who played Alice Himegami in the show. Ishikawa will always have a special place in my heart because she voiced Violet from Violet Evergarden. But Ishikawa only made one generic tweet of, Hey, check out the show. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Which roughly translates to, Peace bitches, I'm out. And homegirl Virgo maneuvered her way to promote her role of Mikasa in AOT. Like here's a picture of her decked out in some Mikasa headphones and she just be out here like, I don't got time to be promoting some weak ass anime like X-Arms. I got better things to do, like listening to the AOT season 4 opening song. Low key though, 10 seconds of that opening outclasses all of x arm the anime in its entirety. Now let's pivot to the main cast. And off the bat, I'm going to say that no seiyu is going to outright say the show they took a role in is shit. That would be career suicide, but instead, please examine how the main cast is completely distancing themselves from the show and try to read between the lines. The first cast member we focus on is Soma Saito, who played Akira Natsume, aka someone that Dare should adopt as their mascot to help raise the next 5 generations of youth to grow up drug free. Looking at both his personal blog and Twitter, my man does not post one single thing about XR. Instead, he's been promoting his second full length album, In Bloom, which honestly is a genius marketing strategy because he's like, I understand you're dealing with some extreme trauma from being physically assaulted by my character's eyes, so I want you to listen to this music alone in a room, so that you may be able to get back on your two feet again and integrate yourself back in society. Well shit, at this rate, my boy about to hit Billboard 100s. Next up we have Akari Kito who played Alma. You know, let's give Kito-san a break from juggling her cindere maid duties in a maid cafe, to playing professional soccer with demon heads, to her most recent duties as an Onesan elf healer. And because homegirl was so busy, she didn't have time to promote X-Arms until episode 3. And the funny thing is, the contrast between her promotion of X-Arms compared to her other anime projects is pretty insane. 
For example, when she's talking about her involvement in other projects like Wataten, she's damn near a rap battle hype man. But when you pull up her tweet spot X arm, she gives a generic treatment of Yay, today episode 5 is airing. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Well, if you're talking about contrast, you guys are gonna really love Mikako Komatsu's timeline. Even though she says a little bit more in her ex arm tweets compared to her castmates, you can still tell that she's overall distancing herself from the show. I mean, just look at how she tweets about her role of Maki in Jujutsu Kaisen. She dead as tweeting about the episode as she's watching it live. Imagine if she does the same for X arms, she'll be go like, this is shit, this is shit, this is shit. <laughs> It's like Jujutsu Kaisen is her favorite son, and X Arms is the bastard child you feed every once in a while. The disrespect is so real, but I'm all for it because it's 100% deserved. Now, if you want to talk about disrespect, you have to talk about the people responsible of putting this project together. I'm talking about both the main licensor slash producer Crunchyroll and director Kimura. Firstly, with Crunchyroll, holy cow. They were so sus with their whole promotion with their original work. Prior to the launch of X Arms the Anime, Crunchyroll be dropping mad promos, exclusive interviews, sneak peeks of key visuals, major pushes at huge virtual conferences. But when the anime X Arms started airing, the main marketer Crunchyroll was nowhere to be found. Deadass, they be doing the bare minimum of just doing Twitter announcements of when new episodes drop. Yo Crunchyroll, I love you man, but you can't just abandon ship when it's convenient. x arm you kid man. You can't just go like, honey, I need to go buy some milk at Trader Joe's and never come back. Now the man I've been really wanting to highlight in this video is director Kimura. The director who spearheaded this abomination. Firstly, let's look at this Crunchyroll interview he did. In this interview, he stated that XR anime action will look incredibly exciting because he was the crux of that production. What the fuck is this piece of shit? He also said that he will create an anime that's never been created before. He even boasted that this series will create very impactful scenes. My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. And guys, it does not stop there. On my man's Insta, he states that he will challenge the status quo as a newcomer and he poured his heart and soul into this project. Well, my friend, the only thing you challenged was my mental sanity of just trying to get through episode one. I mean, this superficial confidence is fine and all, but with you saying all those grandiose things, you have to take ownership of those words that come out of your mouth. The fact that week over week, as the episode quality is degrading, and you out here acting ignorant to that quality, I have major issues with that. At the very bare minimum, there should be an apology to us the fans, and even a bigger apology to Komi-sensei, the creator of this work. Bruh, I took a glance at Komi-san's Twitter, and I couldn't do it. Cause my mans took the biggest L of the 2020 decade. And guys, if you want to feel depressed today, just go read chapter 1 of the manga, and boy, <laughs> you're going to be so triggered. Well, I don't have anything else to really say about this show. The fact that the stars of your show are distancing themselves, the fact that the main culprit of this whole mess is not taking any ownership, and because the animation quality is worse than a college GoFundMe project, is the exact reason why this anime got a 2.17, AKA Ash Wednesday, AKA I need to give up anime for 40 days for Lent cause I need to reset and purify my eyes. Shit. Well, what you guys think about X-Arms? Did you guys have major issues with how Crunchyroll or the director dealt with the show? Spill all the tea down below in the comment section. This has been your boy E-Man. Peace out.